Okay, guys, to get started, um, this is MX Autodesk 3DS Max Design 2012. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to insert your insert a full structure house into the Unity engine. Also, the next tutorial will cover the Cry engine. The Cry engine requires its own tutorial as it's much, much more complex. But for now, we're covering Unity, which is a lot easier. Um, so as you see, I have my structure, my house. Um, I took it apart for you to basically show you the, you know, every little piece of it. And as you'll see, I built a interior and an exterior for this room. And you do that with planes. As you put a plane down, if you put a material on it, you will realize that half the plane is not visible. And if you put physics on that plane and a player walks into the non-visible side, the player, regardless of the physics on it, will walk through it. So, let's get started. This is basically an easy, simple way of doing this. And you would basically create one plane here, one plane there, one plane there. And then you will make it into an edible poly. That's this. You right-click, edible poly. Simple. Um, and then you would attach everything via this command. Uh, how much longer do I got left? Seven more minutes. Okay. So, um, let's go ahead and put my house back together. Just undo all this. Oh, wow. Are you kidding me? Okay, my house ain't going back together because I exceeded the undo command. Um, so we will just open up this right here. No, do not save changes. There we go. House is back together. Don't take it apart like that too many times because sometimes you can't get it back together, which really sucks. Um, as you see, this is one object. This is all one object. This is all one object. I did that with edible poly and attach command. And whatever I would think would be the same texture, I would make it one single object. This makes it effective for the leader or the person that's holding the game engine of the development company's group to effectively insert textures into the structure really fast. And I could texture this entire building and put on the tile settings in less than, well, I did it in like one minute and a half. And then the, the final product was ready to go, which is that right there. And it doesn't look too bad. I mean, I kind of went off on that it's, I, I didn't really try on that so the modeling part however took me three hours this is where teamwork comes in okay so now that you have your structure you will have to go on YouTube and look up another tutorial for installing the plugin but it's really simple you just download the install file and then it automatically installs it for you you can find it anywhere just YouTube how to install plugin for 3ds max to Unity, pretty simple. Um, so you'll see I already exported it. It will give you this option right here. Export Autodesk FBX. And then you can throw it straight into the game engine, like so. Um, you would open up your project window. And I have a separate folder for all my good houses. And you would open up wherever you extracted that to. Imported, uh, exported, I'm sorry. Which is right here. And this is the max file. This is the FBX file, as it says on the icon. You would drag and drop that into this folder right here. And it automatically updates itself and throws it in the folder. This one looked a little bit more detailed. I'm not exactly sure as to why. But as you can see, everything is separate. It actually separates it into different... Wow. That's pretty cool. Anyways. So there you go. And then you just drag and drop it right onto your scene in the game. Looks like crap because I don't have a sky background or the ground background. I just kind of working on getting the basics in the engine, the structures, all that stuff. So, as you see, I, I made plain houses out of all this. I used planes for this. That house right there. And um, when you select, you can also select one object, and then you'll go to 
component physics you want to add a mesh collider that makes it so your player can run through the doorways anything that doesn't exist right there they can run through if you add a physics if you add like a box collider it's just going to make a huge physics box around it and your player will not be able to run through it so let's jump into the game here and i'll show you guys exactly what you're dealing with um i'm going to open up the game window and as you can see this game engine also has a player built into it you'll have to go through separate tutorials on how to use the engine itself i will make more tutorials but for now this is what i got um so as you'll see this is the garage i can run right through it very simple right because it's a mesh collider doorway i can run through it game runs slowly and smoothly i gotta fix that that looks kind of horrible and the door i put there is gone oh, bro i'm doing a tutorial right now i'll call you back yeah. okay bye <laughs> okay anyways so as you see i just made this house Everything's pretty good. I can walk through all the doors. I walk into the wall. Well, I walk through that wall to ignore that. I just did that. Um, but this wall right here, I did correct. You know, I can't walk through it. it. Stops me. Stops me there. Can't walk through that wall. And there you go. It was a basic house. Um, this house is also done up pretty good. You go over here. Go up these stairs. Pretty nice, huh? Yeah, yeah, buddy. Let's go out to the balcony. Yeah. What a great game. Anyways, so that's your basic tutorial. I'll make number two tutorial on this, getting more further in depth into it. As far as how I'm doing most of this stuff. And, you know, I'll my next tutorials will be separated into five parts. And I will show you exactly how I did every single step of this. But also, if you're looking to join a team for gaming and development um, hit us up we pretty much accepting anyone we will teach you the basic knowledge that you will need to start and start modeling and uh, you can contact us I put the information in the description and you can make stuff like this and you can be part of the team and you can get started so anyways jump through the roof. I didn't apply physics to that, but I will later. This is this is just alpha stage, so I don't really care what it looks like. Just getting the general idea down. So yeah, this uh, this tutorial is going on forever, but I don't really care, you know. But um, yeah. So that's game engine. This is 3ds Max, and I'm Casey, and I'll see you later.